Penguin would have just beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. And if Batman hadn't been there, I would be... Of course, the doctors aren't thrilled about me leaving. My therapist is worried the drug might have caused some issues to resurface. Make them unmanageable. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Cobblepot. You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D. Let me know if anything comes up. You're a good man, Bruce. Please, Selena, I have to tell you how I... Bruce? Selena, I think you should get out of Gotham. It's not just Harvey. The children of Arkham are after you. It's not safe right now. Maybe you're right. Dropped your pen. It's not... I think it's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. the truth sometime. Retribution, Bruce. <laughs> Okay, I'm up. I'm up. <clears throat> For Christ's sake, put some clothes on. Doctor's making the rounds soon. Doctor? What doctor? Is that my blood? God, I hope it's mine. Looks like someone was angry. Lovely. Arkham Asylum. This can't be happening. Can't be real. <sighs> Better be decent. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. 
Of course, I could make an exception for you. You can tell me why I'm in Arkham Asylum for a start. What? Rich boy doesn't remember? Oswald Cobblepot? You beat him to a bloody pulp. Nearly killed him. Landed you here. Any of this ringing a bell? Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. As you were. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. I want your daddy to see what I do to you. You really don't want to do this. You don't know a damn thing about me, Wayne. I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy is tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. <clears throat> I don't really know what happened. This is all a blur. Seems like you could have experienced another psychotic episode. We'll need to keep an eye on that. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. Don't worry. I'm always careful. And you seem to be able to defend yourself quite well. Still, better to play it safe. You were lucky help came so quickly. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? You just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. There's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! <laughs> That's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself better. Oh, 
<laughs> Every day, Doctor. Every day. Dr. Leon? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well, <laughs> betting. No, no, you, you, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill me. You don't know the president. <laughs> they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number, dumbass! Stop! I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. I'm gonna take good care of you. Asylum. <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. I'd watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. What did they do? This is Arkham, Bruce! Use that sick little imagination of yours. Murder, mayhem, carnage, the usual. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, sh sh his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! The remote. One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Oh, I almost forgot. Here. What is this? You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just... just shove off, all right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. If that's the way the cookie crumbles... Cookie... Cookie crumbs! That's it! <laughs> yes! I cracked it! <laughs> shh, shh. Bruce Wayne. You've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. So what's the deal with that? Well, this one was a homeless guy 
trapped in a hopeless life. <laughs> this was a woman who just couldn't stop cheating on her husband. This guy wanted to kill himself, but didn't have the courage. All lost souls that I freed from their earthly woes. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Thanks. I solved the cookie riddle, not you. Sorry, sorry. What do you want? Guy I walked in here with. What can you tell me about him? John Doe? A lot of folks are scared of him. Yeah? Why is that? Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic, unpredictable. Not speaking as a, <clears throat> as a profession. I find his work a bit sloppy. But he's certainly enthusiastic, I'll give him that much. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. And Never anything good on, is there? Wait, that's the move you're going to make? Huh? Yeah. Hey, uh, I was wondering that about... Was not crazy, lunch yet. <laughs> well, actually, and I it's wasn't... It's not time for meds, either. Beat it. What's that? Oh, no, no, no. That's not polite at all. At all. Doctor says that's against the rules. Your key didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it though, didn't you? <laughs> That's... That's hilarious. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local Skytrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one... This one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. Double-crossing, two-faced. I thought you and the mayor were friends. Supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Harvey was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Sounds like you need better friends. Slim pickings around here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television! Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. This isn't a joke. Their war is going to destroy Gotham. That's what makes it so funny! All those people caught in the middle. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicki. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicki is. Tell me what you know. You wanna find Vicky and her drugs, huh? 
Get your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically! Something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cops hadn't dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. That wasn't me. It was just pumped full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some Pretty dark stuff. I'm not like her. I don't need vengeance. Really? Sounds to me like you've got more in common than you're willing to admit, Bruce. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not going to do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I <sighs> Assume I can take care of that. <laughs> It's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor, okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? Let's be clear about one thing. You are never, ever getting out of this place. Whatever you say, Bruce. But never is a very, very long time. All right, tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Ah! No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now. The skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Stop! Someone give me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> Damn it! Call security! <laughs> CBD. Gordon, it's Bruce Wayne. Wayne? 
Aren't you supposed to be in Arkham Asylum? Listen, Gordon, I haven't lost my mind. I was drugged. The same drug the children of Arkham used on Montoya and Harvey Dent. You get me out of here, and I'm willing to testify. This might help our case, actually. That makes three victims now, and Renee says she's got some new evidence. If you're willing to testify, I think I can get you out of there. Thanks. I have to go. <laughs> oh, Bruce. I have not had this much fun in ages. Let me tell you how to find Vicky's stash of missing drugs. Ask the fails. Quickly, come on. Good luck on the outside, Bruce. I just know you're gonna put on quite a show.